What's up all my fine, fine girls? No Pimple is with here again with another video. So I am back with a video today, and it's something that I've actually never done on my channel before, but this is gonna be my foundation routine, okay? So typically, if you watch my videos, you see that I primarily just do my eyeshadow on camera and I call it a day. Um, a couple of you guys do ask me, you know, to do the foundation, but listen, you, the reason why I don't do it is because it just, it's more footage I gotta edit. I'm gonna be very honest. I just, it's quicker to just cut out that portion. A lot of times it's the same thing, so I'd rather just show the eye look, my foundation, routine typically it stays the same but you know what I want to do an updated like you know foundation routine just kind of go a little bit more in depth about you know what I use on my base so yeah let's go ahead and get started I'm actually kind of in a rush because I have a baby shower to get to oh real quick for anybody to ask on my eyes I am using my beloved um the Artistry Vault palette by Plain and Makeup by Yolanda this is no longer available so um if you don't want this palette, you can't get it, but you know, there's plenty of dupes out there on the market. But this is what the inside of the palette looks like. I have this in my crease mixed with both of these shades and I took that black and then on my lid, I have this shade and that shade. I absolutely love this palette. This is literally my favorite palette. So it's, it's like perfect. So like whenever I'm just like in a rush and I don't know what I want to do, I usually grab that palette and go. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this base. So for primer, I'm going to be using the Rare Beauty, their primer. This is the, which one is this? This is their Illuminating Primer. So, I like to have like a nice little glow to the face. I'm gonna have to take this off because I just realized I need to get like the four, the hairline, I'm gonna say the four, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but um, I need to get my four line, not my four, not my four. That was an incorrect word that I just corrected myself and I still said the incorrect one, my hairline. <laughs> oh my God. I need to like exfoliate my skin. Like it's feeling a little textured. Like you know when your skin like it doesn't feel like it's normal self? Like my skin for the most part is clear, thank God. Thank God I have made it out of the hormonal acne stage. But like I'm definitely feeling like I haven't exfoliated in a little bit so it's definitely time. Okay, so for foundation, I have some combos that I've been loving. You guys, if you watched my, um, I think it was a bit, I don't know, it was a video that I posted a while back. I think it was everyday makeup or soft glam, something like that, right? I had showed um, these foundations and I do love both of these and I have used the, quite a bit of this. I like mixing them. Sometimes I don't want just like a full on matte foundation because I don't really have oily skin, but I do like to use a matte foundation like when I'm going to be out for an extended amount of time. Um, and I like to mix in here to get kind of get like a, just kind of make the softer a little bit but for today i also have an i also have another foundation that i've been loving which is a givenchy this is their foundation their tight tight couture everywhere and this is a satin finish it's a full coverage it has spf of 20 in here and i wear the shade y400 so today i'm going to be using this one because i don't really want anything like too too heavy i am going to a baby shower so i'm only going to be there for like a little bit and then i'm coming home so you know don't really need to do anything too like mattifying so i'm going to take my beauty blender and just apply this on this is like the perfect shade for me this like what yo yo do y'all see this like i swear sometimes like i really feel like my face be hating on me like low-key like you know when i'm about to film you want to start acting up the day that you know nobody's seeing me i'm not on camera i'm not putting anything on instagram nothing skin is flawless like i swear i feel like our own bodies like be hating against us like they're like trying to work against us like trying to lose weight mm -hmm. you want to lose weight don't worry i'm going to make sure that you don't lose weight i'm going to store the fat like ah, what's wrong with you like what is wrong with you <laughs> so i just oh do y'all see like do y'all see how beautiful this foundation is like oh my goodness you guys I absolutely love this foundation. I feel like I'm almost out of this. Like, I mean, I am gonna run out of it because I have just been trying to like use up the stuff that I have. I have like well over, like well over 50 foundations. Mind you, I didn't buy majority of them. Like I, I like literally probably only bought like five, five of them. Um, working at Sephora, I got a lot of foundations for free, like a lot of them for free because, you know, that's like the biggest thing that people come in there for is like foundations and they're always, you know, trying to find something new. So the company gave us a lot of foundations because, you know, well, I'm not using my money that I worked to, to spend here. So, you know, they would give us stuff to try out so that way, you know, we could talk about it to clients. Um, and also, I mean, there was samples. So like if there's something that, you know, you didn't get in gratis, that's what, that, that was the name of the stuff that they called like when we got free stuff was gratis. They have a new name for it now, but um, you can just, you know, take it home and, um, in a sample if you really want to try it out. But yeah, I have so many foundations that like literally when I see a new foundation coming out, like I don't even like look at it twice because I'm like, there's just no point. Like 
you need to finish what you do have. And also foundation is like not my favorite part of my makeup. Like, I mean, it's cute. Like this looks good. Don't get me wrong. Like I look good, <laughs> but still y'all, this is like perfect color, perfect shade. Okay. So now for concealer, I have a couple that I have been loving. Of course, my Dior Forever skin, like as you guys see, like I have made, like it's empty at this point, I need a new one. And I wear the shade 4W. I love this concealer. What else have I been loving? I love this Clinique concealer. I have like two of these. I definitely made a little dent in these for sure. I love, let me show y'all stuff that I do love that I, I literally use. This is my second bottle of the Jouer concealer. I don't know, is Jouer still around? I know that the Sephora that I used to work out, we, they no longer carry it, but um, this is my second bottle. This is the, I wear the shade Dolce, De, Dolce, De Leche, like y'all, this is like full coverage, like full coverage. And I love me a full coverage concealer. Okay, I don't need it, but I love it, you know? And then lately, I have also been trying this out. This is the Lancome, their Tiny Doll Ultra Wear. And I also really like the One Size His Concealer. I think I'm gonna use this today. And this shade is Medium Dark 3. I just kind of feel like this is just a little golden. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's why I don't grab this all the time is because it's just a little golden. I mean, it's not bad, but like my Dior concealer is like the my Dior concealer is like the perfect like undertone like it's light enough without it being like super super yellow but we're gonna use this one size concealer today and this is also a really good coverage too so I just like to put my concealer like I still do the crazy triangle I don't care I like the way it looks. I know like a lot of techniques that, you know, people used to really do heavily back in the day, people have settled down with. For me, I'm still gonna do the concealer this way. I like it, I like the way it looks. So yeah, let me, let me, let me tell you guys something right. Okay, listen, I feel like you should do your makeup however you please, whichever way. Listen, as long as it comes out the way you like it, it doesn't matter the steps you took to get there, okay? There's some people when I see, their, see them do their makeup, I'm like, I would have done all them steps. But you know what? That's how they chose to do their makeup and it came out the way they wanted it to. So then do it just that way, you know? That's just my theory. Like some people probably feel like it's not needed to like, you know, do the crazy triangle. But honestly, it works for me. I, I like the way it comes out and it all comes together. So <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. Now this is a concealer that you kind of have a little bit of some wiggle room to like, you know, blend down. Like you can let it sit and then like go back and blend. I will say though, the concealer that you can't do that with is this Lancome one. Like I have to move fast with that concealer or it's gonna dry up on me. And same thing with the Fenty concealer. I think I ran out of that one, but I went through like two bottles of that Fenty concealer. I love that concealer. Um, same thing with hers. You, you, you gotta move a little quickly with her concealer as well too. I see Dior has a new concealer. It's like their backstage concealer. And I do like their backstage line, like actually, there's a, wait, there's a foundation of theirs that I love to use. Oh my gosh, wait a minute, I got this cor incorrect. I don't mix my best skin ever with this. I wear this on its own. I mix, my, I mix my best skin ever with, I mix it with my Dior backstage. I was like, something doesn't look right, yes. Oh my gosh, you guys, these two mix together. Bomb combination, bomb combination. Yeah, I was just like, something's just off. I don't mix um, double wear with, that I wear double wear on its own. And I think that double wear is like my, I wanna say it's either my second or third bottle of that foundation. I love that foundation. Yeah, see, now it's starting to dry down. Kinda have to move a little bit faster. <laughs> this coverage looks really good. This looks good. Oof. Oof, this looks so good. This looks so good, it looks so good. Okay, so now time for powder, okay? We're gonna set this down. I love my Laura Mercier their setting powder in honey. And I also use the Makeup Forever, their matte velvet skin powder in Y405. So I'm gonna use both of those today. So now I don't bake anymore. I used to back in the day. I don't feel the need to anymore. Also, I don't use setting spray either. Not that like I'm opposed to like I own some setting sprays, but I just like I forget to use them because like my makeup, because I stopped baking so heavily that my makeup looks the way I want it to look like when I'm done. Like it doesn't look super like dried out because I have so much powder just sitting there. So what I just do with my powder is I just like to go ahead and press this in. So I'm just gonna press this in and this gives me the look that I want. 
and then just letting it sit there. I just rather like just like blend it in. It just comes out looking so much better. Like I don't feel like my under eyes look super like just heavy and dried out. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my chin here. And then I need to do here as well too. So put enough powder here. Whew, this looks so good. This looks so good. Okay, I can't wait to like see the whole thing completed. And then I'm gonna take this brush by Sephora collection. This is the number 99. And this is what I like to use to put on my Makeup Forever powder. I don't put too much of this on. I just like take a little bit and I just like go under. Like, that's really it. And like from doing this, my makeup, like my makeup will last, okay, listen. You follow these steps and your makeup should last, okay? Now, obviously the thing that will have to change would be the foundation and that will go based off your skin type. So like I said, the foundation I'm using today is a satin finish. I have normal skin, like, you know, so if you're more on the oilier, oilier side, you definitely wanna use something that's gonna help control the oil. And if you're a little more on the drier side, that, that foundation will work perfectly for you. Also the primer as well too, is an illuminating primer. So um, it's not really gonna help with oil control. So these products work for my skin type, so what I'm trying to say is switch out some of the products, but I feel like the overall steps and like technique, you try these out, I feel like your makeup will last. Whenever I did people's makeup, I did it just like this and I never had any complaints, okay? So for bronzer, I'm gonna be using the, oh, actually, you know what, before I go into bronzer, I like to take this powder from Sephora Collection. This is their Micro Smooth Powder and this is in the shade 60 Deep. This right here is like a smoothing powder and it just like smooths the skin out. I also like to use it just kind of like go over this. Like if I felt like I went a little too light with like my concealer and it looks a little too light, I'll use this to just kind of like tone it down. And it just like really smooths my skin out. There's this other powder that I want to buy again. It's by Laura Mercier, it's their Candle Glow Powder. Uh, that one has like a little bit of some like luminosity to, luminosity to it. And it just looks so gorgeous. Like your skin literally looks like, what is the word? It looks like, of filters on your face. That and the Hourglass powder, but the Hourglass powder, they have made a shade that I like. Like the one they have is not deep enough. Like it works for me, but I want a deeper one. And they do have it. They just have it in a tree. I'm like, can we just get that as a single? Um, it's their ambient lighting powder. But anyways, now I'm gonna go into my bronzer. This is the Juvia's Place, their dark bronzer. But yeah, um, there's some stuff that I do wanna get from Sephora, but I'm waiting until April 1st, cause I am a Rouge member and I wanna get my 20% discount. Listen, I, when, when, you've, when I worked there for seven years, okay, the idea of paying full price still is like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe I'm really not gonna get this employee discount. So I cannot just go in there and just be paying full price. So I'm gonna wait till the VIB sale starts in April. There's just a couple of things that I need to re-up on. I need to get my sunscreen and then get some like eyeliner. Um, I don't know, stuff. I have like a list and I'm just like, you know, checking it, making sure, you know, because girl, I'm not paying full price if I don't have to. Believe it or not, you guys, since this this year, like actually since I left my job at Sephora, I have not made a purchase at the company, like at, at, like at Sephora at all. And you wanna know why? It's because I have so much crap, like so much stuff that I got for free there. And then also a lot of the makeup that I like these days, like eye towel palettes are from a lot of indie brands, so I don't really, there's nothing that Sephora really like sells that I want to try out, you know? But I'm at a place where I need to re-up on some stuff. Okay, so I don't really like to contour my nose. Like, you know, some people like they really want to snatch nose. They do all that stuff. I don't do that because I just don't feel like my nose is shaped in a way to where it looks good. I just feel like if anything, it just makes it look worse. You know, I like the way my nose looks. I don't really want it to be like super thin and I, I like the way my nose looks. And I feel like when I try to contour my nose, it just looks really odd and weird. So I hate doing that. So what I do is I take this brush from Sephora collection. This is the Pro number 19. And I just go into the lighter side of this and it's like a little pointed brush and I just start here first I put the powder here because the way I do my eyeshadow and my um primer it sometimes leaves like a harsh line that I don't like so I like to like use this color to blend that out and then I'm just going to go down my nose like this and this is more so just to kind of add color there so it just doesn't look weird but it's not really for me to like try to reshape my nose like I really don't care about that and I feel like this just, this looks fine. Like I like the way that looks. And that is bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. Okay, so for blush, 
I use these blushes because they're literally right here in my drawer. These are the uh, Makeup Shayla. These are her ColourPop Collab um, blushes. And lately I have been using Construct and like I've hit pan on this blush. So let me show you the other one. I, I literally go back and forth between these two. Like I'll use one for like months straight and then I'll switch over to the other. And yeah, this is like the pinkier one of this. I think for this look, I think the brown one will look really cute. And the brush I'm using is the, oh, can't read this. This is the Morphe, their E4 brush. And I don't smile or anything when I put on my blush just because, um, Usually my face looks like this, like, you know, when I'm just kind of like sitting down. So I want it, I want my makeup to look the way my face will look like when it's just in a normal state. If I do this, like, I don't walk around like, hey guys, how are you? Like, I, you know, like, so when I put my blush on or when I put blush on anybody, I just have them keep a, their straight face. So that way your makeup will look normal when you're, when you're not smiling, you know? <laughs> now I'm smiling because I'm laughing. <laughs> stop, stop, stop with me, stop. <laughs> okay. That's, oh, I'm out of focus. Okay, I don't know how long I was out of focus for, but that's the blush. Okay, so for highlighter, I love my MAC Gold Deposit, but I wanna do something a little different today, you guys. Look, I'm, I'm like almost done with this. I've had this since 2014. Like, I'm almost done, I'm trying to finish this. But for highlighter today, I wanted to take it back a little old school. Do y'all remember these? These are the Jackie Ina, um, her Art Couture um, collab. So I have both of them. I have La Bronze and La Peach. La Bronze is just a little too deep for me, so I'm gonna use La Peach. La Peach, look at this, y'all. I remember when loose highlighters were, I remember when highlighter was a craze, like where I was buying highlighters, like I had no sense, okay? Like these used to be a craze, so I'm just gonna take a little bit on my fan brush. The only thing we're working with loose highlighters is that, man, you gotta be careful with this. But I wanna use these because I haven't touched them in like forever. Ooh! <laughs> okay, I feel like an old school YouTuber right now because that's literally the reaction whenever you put on like a highlight. Like, oh my gosh, like blinding the gods. Okay, I don't, this, this looks crazy. This does not look good. This needs to be blended out. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender and, cause I don't like that just like harsh line. Like that doesn't look cute. I like more of like a subtle glow. Like, now this looks, that looks nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna take from the cap because going directly into that is just too much. Oh my gosh. I can't believe people used to walk around like this. Like, that looks horrendous. I have to blend this out. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, yes. Just a nice subtle glow. Like, you know when the light hits a certain way, like beaming, right? Oh my gosh, it's 3.30. <laughs> The shower starts at four o'clock. <laughs> and I have to film another video after this. Mm, what's a talking video so I, I can get through that really quickly. Okay, um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my eyeliner. This is from Inglot, and I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off like my bottom like shadow in my eyes. So why do we make this really ugly face when we put on like eyeliner and mascara? Let me see if I can do this without like making that face. Mm. It don't hit the same. I gotta make the ugly face. That looks good. That looks good. Alrighty, and then I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm gonna go into my Artistry Vault palette and I'm just gonna take that black and I'm just gonna smudge that down below. Some of you guys have commented how like you've gotten more confident using black eyeshadow for like my videos because I talk about how much I love black eyeshadow. Listen, don't be afraid of black eyeshadow. Like. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's amazing, okay? Black is an amazing color. <laughs> Wait, look at that. You just gotta make sure you tap off the excess, you know? Don't just go straight into it. But if you can like learn how to work with black eyeshadow, my goodness, it is a really beautiful thing. Like, it really is. I'm gonna go back into like that. There's like this light shade that I have here, which is called Wow in the palette. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that shade. And I like to extend it out like this, like almost like where I'm putting it here. It just gives a different look. Like y'all see that? Y'all see the difference in two eyes? Like it just makes the eyes look wider and like um, bigger and larger. It just looks really pretty in my opinion. So I'm gonna do this to the other side. I have been loving like an all matte eye like loving an all matte eye that looks that looks so good oh my gosh it looks so good okay 
And then some mascara. I use the Kosas mascara. Um, yeah, I use the Kosas mascara. I don't know what I was gonna say, but yeah, this is what I use. Okay, and of course, you know, I gotta do like my nude lip. My nude lip. Okay, so I love this lip liner. And I need to buy more because usually I have like three, four of these in my collection at one time. This is the NYX, their lip liner in Espresso. Listen, if you love Quark, if you love Oak, whatever, all those brown lip liners from MAC, please save your money and get this. It's literally the same as Actine and this is like $3. I have been using this for years. Like I actually am the one girl, the one black girl who does not own Quark lip liner. This makeup looks really nice. And then for the lipstick today, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty, their lipstick in the shade Staycation. It's like a grayish, like a nude that has like, like a grayish undertone. It's like a really cool toned nude. That's what I'm trying to say, a cool toned nude. Mm, this looks good. And then I'm gonna take my light, lip liner and reline this. And then for lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss, where is my, I think I'm gonna take one of the, this MAC lip gloss. Uh, which one is this one? Oh my gosh, I used to be obsessed with this. This is Spite, but I think I'm gonna take this one right here. This one is obvious, obviously bare, or maybe this one right here. This is from their, oh, so it's like one limited edition collection. I don't even know which one it is, but this is called Girl on Board. Mm, we'll do this one, this one. Oh, I'm like out of this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to throw this away soon because I'm like running out of this. Oh, this is such a pretty color. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, go off camera, spruce up my hair, and then I'll be back to close out this video. All right, you guys, so this is it. Everything just all done together, hair done, all of this jazz. I think this looks really, really good. Um, I enjoyed this kind of video. I actually really enjoyed this today. Um, just doing my base, you know, cause I really never ever do it. So, you know, it was fun to go ahead and film this. I don't really have much to say. I am quite in a rush. It is 3.48 and I still have to film one more video after this before I can leave the house. And my location is like 30 minutes away from me and this, you know, thing starts at four o'clock. So, <laughs> you know what? It's, it, we're Nigerian, okay? So I already know, I, I already know they're not gonna start exactly on time. So ho I'm hoping that they don't start on time because usually I'm a very on time person, but today, I don't know, like, I just was not on time. But anyways, you guys, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below any videos that you want to see me do. Um, I'm always open to su suggestions. Like, I'm, I mean, I'm always like researching different things. I post things that I enjoy watching and I feel like you guys will like, you know, let me know down below what you guys would like to see. But yeah, until next time, I'll talk to you beauties later. Bye.